Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. May 23, 2019, the Life or Death edition. Today, we lead off with the story which inspired today's title, which is that a Brazilian town is, which whose name, of course, I cannot pronounce, is bracing for a dam disaster as it is anticipated that a nearby dam will burst and obliterate their community. Vale has warned Brazilian authorities that one of its dams could collapse at any minute, um, burying a town. The town anticipates, or at least Vale anticipates, that there will be uh, one hour and 12 minutes of warning before the mud released from the dam rupture will reach the town. So I would ask you to consider... What is risk management? Is risk management a situation which puts you in a life or death situation? For the residents of the town down from the dam, the answer is certainly yes. An extraordinarily interesting article on whistleblowers from the Financial Times, the FT comes out advocating for bounty awards to be paid to incentivize employees to report bad behavior. It also reports that an EU study recently showed that 75% of EU residents were unwilling to report illegal conduct in their company because of fear of retaliation. That's an extraordinary number. Uh, The uh, FT says that the U.S. policy under Dodd-Frank of paying whistleblowers uh, has uh, helped the U.S. and it would help Europe and that there needs to be greater protection for whistleblowers. And another example of regime change uh, leading to corruption violations, Guyana's anti-corruption agency is investigating how exploration rights were awarded in the country's deep water oil region, including rights controlled by ExxonMobil and Tulo Oil. While the probe is in an early stage, the uh, both Exxon and Uh, Tulo have indicated they're cooperating with this. The prior president, uh, uh, rather the oil concession, was awarded by the prior president who left office in 2015. This is is an example once again of why regime change has become a true harbinger of anti-corruption investigations, and every company uh, needs to be aware and cognizant of this to move forward. And finally, from Reuters. Uh, the UT, excuse me, UT, the UK uh, watchdog agency, the Financial Reporting Council, the FRC, has proposed a fine of 12.5 million pounds uh, against uh, KPMG for errors in checking whether BNY Mellon Bank was complying with its rules regarding safeguarding of clients' assets. This is the, one of the largest fines. Uh, proposed against a big four accounting firm, and it certainly shows that the uh, at least the FRC is stepping up its regulatory oversight and penalties against auditing firms. Of course, there is also uh, noise about potentially even breaking up the big four in the UK. So more to come, and stay tuned on that score. If you are interested in the new Department of Justice Evaluation of Corporate Compliance 2019 guidance, check out the most recent episode of Everything Compliance, where the entire gang breaks down a component of it. Finally, I'm extraordinarily pleased to announce a new show, which will uh, premiere on the Compliance Podcast Network in the month of June. Uh, It will be Trekking Through Compliance, compliance lessons from the original series of Star Trek. I'm going to do the entire TOS oeuvre Over the next uh, 79 days, I hope you will check in. It will be a short five-minute podcast each day with compliance lessons from each episode. It will be a ton of fun.